It is time for another Wellness Wednesday now, and this week we are taking a look at an important part of staying healthy with what we eat. But the question is how to make some of those healthy items last longer. Dietitian Alice Smith of Alice Approved is joining us live to help answer that question. Alice, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This is definitely an important topic because whether you're harvesting these fruits and veggies from your garden or if you're purchasing them at the grocery store, we want them to last, right? We want them to last as long as they can on, the, on our cabinet or in our fridge. Absolutely. You don't want to be throwing away money. So show us what you have in front of you and how to keep these items fresh. Yes, absolutely. So things like our broccoli, celery, and lettuce, if those are starting to wilt in your refrigerator, don't throw them away. Trim the stems and then put them in water and put it back in the fridge and they will perk right up. It's magic. So water is super helpful. Oh, okay. So this is after we've already maybe eaten some of the broccoli stock. Yeah. And you don't yep. use it all. Okay. Exactly. So you can, same with celery, same with lettuce. You can actually store cut potatoes and carrots in water. You can submerge that. You can also keep avocados in water in the fridge. So water is super helpful to help extend the shelf life of your produce. Avocados seem like they go bad in 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's out. like you don't know when to buy them. And yes. then when you get them, you've spent all this money on them and then they go bad. Well, the good thing is, is that you can freeze them. So freezing avocados is one of my favorite hacks. Wow. And I do this regularly. So you will just use a cooking sheet. You will grease this, put a little bit of olive oil spray on there, or you can use parchment paper. And you will just slice up your avocados Put them right here and you will pop this in the freezer and then after a couple hours or overnight you'll put these in a freezer baggie and every morning every time you make a smoothie you will throw some avocado in there it adds creaminess lots of nutrients lots of vitamins minerals healthy fats and it makes it smooth and creamy like a milkshake so this you definitely wow. want to do to just help extend the shelf life of your avocados, but also add lots of nutrients to your smoothies. What a great hack. And then in that freezer baggie, how long would you say those slices will stay nice? Several, several months. So what? they'll last at least two to four months wow. in the freezer baggie. And you can do that for smoothies, but also popsicles. So popsicles are something refreshing for the kids during the summer. So you can throw together your own popsicles with just some frozen fruit and also add avocado and the kids will never know. Fantastic. All righty. Let's hear about bananas. <laughs> yeah. So bananas. So they're another thing that sometimes they just tend to just ripen really quickly, right? So with your bananas, you want to freeze these for your smoothies and your popsicles too. So I would just put these in a freezer bag so you can just chop these up and put those in the freezer. So you just peel them, slice them in a freezer baggie, and they'll last several months too. And they really do sweeten once you freeze them. They're delicious just to eat, or you can actually make banana ice cream with just frozen mm -hmm. bananas, a little bit of milk, and all you do is blend that together and it is delicious. Oh, how simple is that too? Yeah. And then do you have one more Super easy. in the mason jar for us this morning? Yes, so in the mason jar, so this, I have blackberries in here. So the mason okay. jar is actually a really good way to keep your berries airtight. I do add a paper towel in the bottom to help absorb that moisture. So you just want to make sure they're airtight. You do want to make sure they're dry in here and remove any that are soft or moldy. You don't want that to really get in here because then they'll all turn soft and moldy. But putting your raspberries, your blueberries, your blackberries in a mason jar is super helpful. But you definitely want to make sure that you are giving your produce space. So a lot of our produce items, our fruits and veggies, they release an ethylene gas, which accelerates ripening of other fruits and veggies. So your apples, bananas, pears, your potatoes. If you are cramming these in a bowl on your counter, if you're cramming these in your crisper drawer, they're going to accelerate the ripening. So really try to give your produce space where you can and not have them all on top of each other. Oh, that was smart. Okay, so mm -hmm. those drawers are really important to utilize to give it its kind of its own space as well. Yeah, so making sure you were spreading these out and even putting them in their individual baggies. So for lettuce, and I know lettuce is fresh right now in the garden, so your lettuce, whether this is store-bought or fresh, making sure you put it in an airtight container with a paper towel. So this is really going to extend the shelf life because the paper towel will come out and it will be damp, but your greens will be crisp. So this you can actually make, I've made a week's worth of salads before and putting just your dry ingredients in your Tupperware container with a paper towel on top, 
And then when you get ready to add your dressing and your other ingredients, the paper towel is wet and the greens are crisp and dry. Oh, fantastic, Alice. I need to go home and do all of these because I'm doing it all yes. wrong. <laughs> yeah, and that's okay. Start, start now, yes. but it'll be super helpful. I sure will. This was fantastic. Thank you so much, Alice. We appreciate your time. And to learn more about Alice Approved, you can always follow her on social media or follow aliceapproved.com, that website on your screen.